Hello people, my name is Ferdy and in this tutorial I will show you step by step how you can implement taxes within your WooCommerce website. And not the state taxes, but about calculating taxes for your buyers. And I'll show you how you can set it up manually for each country for a certain state. Normal taxes rates, reduced rates, and I will show you how to automate the whole process so WooCommerce will take care of it for you. If you want to learn from start to finish how to create a complete web shop using WordPress and WooCommerce, then watch this tutorial. Now, let's get started. Okay, in order to configure text, we need to go to the back end. But before I do that, I go to this product over here. In order to make the calculations easier, I want to edit this product and change the price to $100. So we can see or calculate easier what the taxes will be. So if I go to the product, I add it to the cart, view the cart. Right now, there is no taxes applied yet. So it stays $100. If I go to the checkout, it stays $100. So let's turn on the taxes. I go to WooCommerce settings, I scroll down and over here, enable taxes. Yes. I save it. And now there's a new tab over here called tax. Awesome. There are a few options. Those are all fine. So I leave it as it is. There is um, standard rates, reduced rates and zero rates. So zero rates sometimes is for medicine and stuff. Um, in the Netherlands or in my shop, I don't use it. I have the normal rate and the reduced rate and the reduced rate can be for books and other stuff. I know only about books. So I go to the standard rates and then I want to insert a country code, Netherlands. And then in the whole Netherlands, we have one tax applied and that's 21%. And the tax can be called tax or VAT. I also include the shipping, save the changes, and then there's also the reduced rate. So I insert a row, Netherlands, and the reduced rate for books is nine. Save the changes. So if I go to the website and I go to the cart, it is still $100. Why? If I go to the checkout and it change the address to the Netherlands. And now, $21 is added. So if I go to the cart again, subtotal is $100 and then the VAT is $21 and the total will be $121 and then $21 goes to the government. Why is it displayed like this? Why on my website do I not see the prices inclusive of taxes but exclusive? Because let me show you here at the back end at WooCommerce settings tax, it says prices entered with tax no i will enter prices exclusive of tax so that's why i see 100 dollars over here this is ideal if you're only selling to companies because then people know at the end at the checkout i need to pay extra money but i will get that money back from the government because it's 20 percent of 21 percent of taxes if you're selling to people without a company then it's better to include taxes so what will happen now i save the changes what will happen is that the price of the 60 minutes coaching call will still stay the same but now out of that 100 dollars there's 21 percent of taxes so people that buy this they still pay 100 dollars but my profit is 82 dollars 64. so that's the big difference do you want the taxes to be included in the amount you decided that the product was, or do you want to, it to be excluded? So in this case, my profit is 82. And in this case, my profit on margin is $100. So that's up to you. Uh, when I sell to people without a company, I always say yes, inclusive of tax. And then still when people buy this as a company, they still can get taxes bad back but then you have less revenue yes so that's how it works so i go back to the standard rates and now i insert a row and i say usa or us and i say the taxes there is 10 percent that save the changes and the reduce rate 
is five. Okay. Now, if I buy the same thing, but this time, now I buy it from the United States. Look at this. It's different. Why? Because the, the difference in taxes. So depending on where you come from or depending on where you ship to, so I would ship it to the Netherlands because that's where I live. People from the United States would ship it to the United States because that's where they live. Based on what people choose, the taxes are different. And that's a great thing you can do using WooCommerce. So let's talk about a few other settings. I go back to the back end to WooCommerce settings, taxes. We work with standard rates, but we also can work with reduced rates. So for instance, a normal physical hoodie, a Nike hoodie falls under the standard rate, but the reduced rates is for books, for instance. So that's 9% in the Netherlands and in the US, uh, I said it's 5%, I'm not sure, but uh, just to show you for the sake of the tutorial how this works, we can go to your products. And if there's a product that falls under the, the reduced rate, so for instance, books in the Netherlands are cheaper, have a, have a lower rate. So I go to my book. I know it's a, a digital book, but let's assume, let's pretend it's a physical book. Because it's a physical book, I have to pay less taxes. So what I can do here at general, I can go to tax status. It's taxable, but the tax class it's reduced. So let's, let's not save it yet. So I close this, uh, I go to the shop and I add this book, add it to the cart, view the cart. Right now the taxes is, let's see in the United States. So let's go to the checkout and change it to the Netherlands. I go back to the cart. Right now the taxes is $3.47, but if I say it is the reduced rate and I update it, Look at what happens. The taxes for this product will not be 347, but 165 because it's only 10% instead of 21% or even 9% in the Netherlands. So that's how you can deal with different products. So if I would add something else, one from $100, let's go to the checkout. You see, here is the 9% and here's the 21% for this product because there are two different products I bought. So that, that's something you can see over here at WooCommerce, settings, tax, and then reduce rates. And over here I say tax, but the standard rates I say VAT. So what I can say over here is 21% VAT, 10% VAT. Save it. Then I go to the reduced rates. I can say 9% VAT and 5% VAT. And then over here, it will be a little bit more clear that this is 9% VAT, this is 21. So that's how it works. There are a few other things we can do. Let's go to the card and Get rid of this one only show this one so now you need to keep in mind uh, are you selling to customers without a company or to companies well right now i'm talking about xvet so on my shop this is not 100 dollars anymore but it's shown in xvet and when people buy it, it's a total it's a total of 100 dollars as you see over here well since i'm buying to people without a company that's my main focus i need to go to the woocommerce tax settings so i go to the tax tab so so there are two things i want to keep in mind we can enter prices with tax and then we say yes so the tax is included if i say no look at this it will say 100 and then this is 121 so it will be more expensive if i say yes it is cheaper it's 100 dollars. that means that the tax is calculated in the product so when you change something over here, the price will change for the buyer, but you can also change things over here. Display prices in the shop, excluding of tax or 
included over tax. What I want is that the total is still $100 so that the, the tax is included in the total price of $100. So in that case, I need to say, yes, our enterprise is inclusive of tax. But how do I want to display this right now? If I go to the homepage, I don't see $100. I see $82.64 and then in the end it's 100. I want my prices to be shown including the taxes. And that's what I can change over here. Whatever I change over here, that will not change the price. So I say include the tax, but it still will be $100 also over here. But now if I go to the checkout, the, the total is still $100. So that's the big difference. If you change something over here, it will also change the price. If you change it over here, it will only change the display. But at the end of the day, people will stay uh, pay the same amount. The only thing is, is it shown including the tax or excluding tax? If you do excluding tax, you can also say that over here, X that, and then everywhere on your website, it will say X fat. So on your shop, X fat, X fat, X fat. I don't want to do that. If you sell to a company, you also don't have to do that. But if you sell to companies, I would say excluding tax and yes, enterprise is inclusive of tax. What I want to do, I want to display all the prices, including tax. So the customer does not get surprised at the end. So over here, when they see it's $100 and they go to the checkout, it's still $100. So it doesn't matter if a company buys this or a customer without a company, the end price will, will be $100 and tax is included in this $100. So companies can get their money back. What else? Calculate tax based on the customer shipping address or the customer billing address or the shop page address. Well, I would always say the customer shipping address because that is where the taxes will be calculated. If I send this to the Netherlands, there's a different tax that needs to be applied than when I send it to the United States. So I use this one. Shipping tax classes is based on card items. If you only have the standard rates, then you can say standard. But as I said, uh, you can sell books and in that case, you can give each product a different tax class. So I would say shipping tax class based on the card items. Rounding, really important, round tax at the sub subtotal level instead of per line. I can explain this to you if I would buy a lot of products. I go to the shop, Nike hoodie, add it to the cart, let's do a few. I go to the shop, a few shirts. I go to the shop and buy this one. And I go to the checkout. What can happen is that for every price, taxes will be calculated. And then on top, you have the total amount. But what I prefer is that this will all be uh, added on top of each other. Then on, based on this price, the taxes will be calculated and not per line. If you do it per line, you can get some errors and, and miss some cents here and there. So I prefer to round the tax as a subtotal level. So based on this price, the taxes will be paid. We talked about this and this and this. Display tax totals itemized or as a single total. Do you want to show the tax after every price or only below the sub level? Well, since we're not working with taxes anymore, I cannot show that, but I would say itemized. So for every product, you see what the taxes is. I like it that way. But what if you're selling to the whole United States and every state has their own rates? Well, then you can go to taxjar.com forward slash states. Now you can see everywhere what the taxes rate is. So you can fill that in, but let me show you a better way how to automate this or the United States. So you don't have to fill in everything manually. In order to automate the taxes for the United States, we can go to plugins, add new. And I search for WooCommerce tax. And I can click over here. Shipping and tax can both be automated. So that's what we're gonna do. Activate. I need to install Jetpack and connect. It says the setup is complete. And now I can go to WooCommerce settings, tax, 
automate taxes. And I can say enable automated taxes, save the changes, and now everything will be done for us, which is better in my opinion. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you. If you want to learn how to create a complete WordPress website from start to finish, then watch this tutorial. It will appear somewhere over here. And if you want to subscribe, it will also appear somewhere over here. You can do that for more upcoming WordPress, WooCommerce, affiliate marketing, and e-commerce, but the same as WooCommerce related tutorials. Okay, bye-bye.